Have you ever finished a project? And once it's sent out to your friends and family, no one has any idea how to interact with it? Well, I know for me, this is a recurring problem, since not many non-tech people feel the strong urge to download Python, create a GitHub account, and learn the mysterious ways of the terminal just to see my Hello World app. However, all that changes today as we explore the world of PyScript. After making the Starbucks recommendation video, it hit me. Not everyone is like me and brings a PC setup when ordering a cup of coffee. No one will ever use this. So I did what all other tech bros do and I made it an app. In fact, I made six other of my projects a web app too, and they can all be found here. Now, if you're a connoisseur of free things in life like me, you might be familiar with GitHub pages and realize that it's only compatible with the OG, HTML, CSS, and JS stack. So, does that mean I threw away all my beloved Python code? <laughs> no. I looked hard and long throughout the barren lands of the internet to find a treasure hidden in plain sight. PyScript. You may be wondering, what is PyScript? Developed by Anaconda, PyScript is a web framework that converts Python code, as well as its library, into JavaScript to be used in HTML. Gone are the days with needing to use Flask or Django for simple Python projects, PyScript provides a lightweight solution. Let's take a look at how easy it is to add PyScript to your code. First, you want to visit the PyScript official website. Then, you can copy the two lines of code here. And with a quick paste, voila, you now have added PyScript to your project. Before anyone goes gutting out all of their JavaScript for this new alternative, it should be noted that PyScript does come with some overhead as seen here. So, while powerful, it's best to be used in moderation for when you are looking to have a slower starting performance in exchange for an easier integrated app. If you're interested on a more technical level for how I was able to port over all my projects, their links to their GitHub repos can be found in the comments and descriptions below. I would love to talk about the code for all of them, however, that would be too large for this video, though newer projects will be done using PyScript for the foreseeable future. If you like this kind of content, or just want to stay in touch with the new AI projects, consider giving this video a like and subscribe. Happy holidays, y'all, until next time.